All right, let's download um, NVE, uh, single player. First off, first steps, you're going to want to make sure you have OpenIV, Grand Theft Auto, Steam, uh, Epic Games, anything like that. Make sure it's just our legit copy. Get OpenIV, it will be in the description. All links will be in the description. Raised Open, uh, not Raised Open, Raised NVE, Natural Vision Evolved will be in the description. It's Patreon, $10 a month. You don't need, uh, yeah, $10 a month. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> so, you're going to want to go to his Patreon to get it. Click this one to join it. It's going to unlock all his uh, Patreon um, content. You're going to want to go to the latest uh, release for NVE, which is going to be April 30th, May 2nd. Uh, download that once you it's gonna give you four options from where you want to download it or like three media fire say like Google Docs blah blah something like that um, if one is not working or going slow so you have like fast internet you know you have fast internet and you're like why is this taking so long the files are going so slow try a different um, website and it might go faster that that's what I found out worked for me so once you download the files it's going well Let's back up a little. So once you click on what website you want, it's going to open up with um, NVE single player, NVE uh, 5M, NVE uh, like RP something something. So basically it has three different um, shader textures for RP loaders, you know what I mean, like 5M. So RP launchers. So you want the first one that says NVE single player if you're doing like uh, uh, offline on story mode. If you want to do like LSPDFR and stuff like that. So once you download that, you're going to get this file. It's going to look like this. You're going to click on the readme right here. It's going to open this up. And then whenever he comes out with new updates, um... If it goes to his Patreon right here, he'll come out with a update, new update, see, like, new update. And then he always puts uh, the new update right here, everything that he fixed, he added, what's new. Right here, he says recommended specs, um, If you, what, what you want to do, like, if your PC's bad, if you, like, stuff like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, he, he puts the OpenIV Casino, stuff like that. How to uninstall. It's very easy, um, so let's just get into it. Extract the natural evision to your um, your desktop. So let's go back to our files. The OIV file, drag it. Make sure you have a one wire or seven zip to open up these files. Let's go back to our README. Download an open IV setup. Run the uh, EXE for open IV, tools, ASI manager, the plugins, everything like that. Create a mods folder. And then we are going to want to run and install the OIV in the mods folder. So let's open up our open IV. If, if you are new and uh, you're just new to this, once you open up your open IV, you're going to get a uh, thing that says, uh, like, ASI manager plugin up here and then you want to click it and it's going to give you three things like open camera something like that and something else and then one of them is going to create a mods folder for you and you just want to want to install all three of them basically <laughs> so next you want to click package installer and tools package installer and then we're going to want to go to our natural vision evolve click install install our mods folder, not our game folder. Install. And just let her do our work for a little. While that's installing, we can go actually go to the next step. So click on the EMB folder. You're going to want to go to the EMB folder and open it. So let's go to our EMB folder. Right here it tells you 
um, what basically what settings. So this one's gonna be like very ultra settings. I really recommend like if you're doing ultra settings, you should you should have a really good PC. Media medium settings. Um, this is still like you you should have a good PC. I have a 2080 with 64 gigabytes and it's still it still wears so. I think I'm going, I'm going to try the lowest settings for ours. So, just going to, you just want to pick which settings you want. Um, important text. Yeah, this is important. Uh, this is for later though. You can discard the important text. So yeah, you're just going to want to basically pick which one uh, fits your uh, liking based on your PC, your specs, you know. This does take a little while. And no, I will not be leaving a um, link to the latest NVE or the file to the NVE. You could suck my balls and get it yourself. People gotta eat. <clears throat> it shouldn't be too much longer here. Yeah, you see the open uh, IV camera, ASI. These are the two, uh, when you basically first open your open IV, you're going to want to install. Bang, bang. <laughs> Bang, there we go. That is installed perfect. Let's go back to our README. We are on step four, ladies and gentlemen. And basically, this is very easy. Now, this is easy breezy. We are going to want to go to our GTA 5 main directory. If you don't know how to get to that, Get to it. I'll show you real quick. Steam. Library. Home. Grand Theft Auto. Left click. Properties. It's been a while, so bear with me. Local files. Um, browse. Bang. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. You see how the mods folder is already there? That is where your GTA file is going to be. Alright, so let's open this up. We have this open. Let's get our NVE open. Low settings. So, basically, drag, drop. 
Simple as that. Make sure nothing's selected. Bang. Main files required. Drag. Drop. Replace. Yes. And you can install any optionals you want, ladies and gentlemen. Any optionals. I recommend Performance Boost if uh, you're not doing too well with FPS. It does give you the uninstall and install with it, so if you don't like it, you can uninstall it. Um, once again, you could just... here. Here's the remove what road, so yeah. You just go through it and look at all the stuff. It's really cool what, what there is in this. Um, and yeah, we're good to go. So let's get into uh, the game right now. Close out all this, 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 this. Load up our GTA. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. You have now successfully installed NVE. I'm going to show you how to uh, configure your shaders in game. If you want to. I recommend just leaving it as is B. <clears throat> oh, what a beaut. Okay, here we go. Look at that. The frames might be a little bad for um, you guys, but it is. It's looking nice. So the, the important thing, what, what, what you guys want to do is, you're going to want to go to your settings, graphics. Make sure you guys, uh, if you want to copy these settings and see how it goes, I don't know. Just let me know in the comments. Or, but you're going to want to have your texture quality <clears throat> set to very high, I think. I know you want your post effects. Let's just check real quick. <laughs> you want your post effects to ultra for like the best looking. Set it to direct X11 and right here. This is what I recommend you guys do. Your shader quality very high. It doesn't matter if your texture quality. See, that's where I had my texture quality very high and eh, I don't know what was going on. A little uh, buggy, you know. But I also did have the medium. And then your particle quality is very high, post effects are very high, or ultra. So make sure you guys do that in your game. And so to configure your guys' settings in NVE, so post effects, and then particle very high, bang, shadow very high, bang. We're good. All right, and so in game, sorry for it being really laggy. 
you guys just want to click shift and enter at the same time and it opens up this might be a lot to look at but um you can basically lock your frames if you're getting like a screen tearing or like stuttering or stuff like that and then right here if you go to enb effects post past you uh you can basically change how your game like the shading in your game so it might be kind of hard to see but here let's let's get at some water like it just changes it really slightly And you, you don't want to do green because it just, like, these options, they don't do anything. So just, I recommend either this one, this one, or just leave it at default. So, that's going to be it, ladies and gents. Thank you. Peace.